All right, we are here with the new set. Duskmore just came out today, so I have a bunch of gold piled up, which isn't usually that much gold when a new set comes out, but I've kind of bought everything I'm interested in, so I'm just going to send it with the new set and buy a boatload of packs and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. Look at that ex especially lucrative vault. Double down, and that, oh, there's actually Duskmorn cards in here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. What am I trying first? Well, what I'm doing first is spending all but 50 of my gold opening packs, and then we go from there. So the game will tell me what, I, what goes first, because uh, <laughs> I'm a free-to-play player, baby. All right, see, there we go. Now we, now we can do whatever we want. We found the thing. I read all the cards once and never did it again. So Far from me to remember everything. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Man, look at this curve. What what have we done? No, what not what have we done? What is what has Wizards done? What is this what have you done? Look at you. Okay, so the new set came out and we are here playing Kona or Kana Rescue Beastie four mana four three. At the beginning of your second main phase, if this is tapped, you can put a permanent from your hand onto the battlefield. It doesn't have to be a creature and it doesn't have to cost three. It can be a random 10-drop, like Ulamog. This seems completely insane to me. I'm sure people will kill it as fast as they can, because if they don't, they almost just lose, if you have anything of substance. So, there are some new cards from the new set. This is just in here because it crews, right? We use vehicles and springleaf drum effects to tap this outside of combat. Might not even have to do that, but, you know, sometimes you do. So, I have all that stuff going for me. Uh, for the most part, the big dumb stuff, there's not really any new things in here. You have, like, there are some new cards that are, like, worth cheating into play. But for the most part, it's just, like, stuff we're used to already. I don't believe Eldrazi, like, uh, Emrakul is worth it. Which is why it's not in here. But some other things are. Right? Ulamog obviously is. Portal to Phyrexia on turn 3 or turn 4 is completely nuts. This is a new card. Um, I'd rather not go over every single new card in the deck specifically, <laughs> but some maybe some outliers. This one is just a 3 mana rampant growth. I don't really anticipate this ever really attacking because it becomes a creature on your end step, not your upkeep. So it's kind of hard to like have this sit as a 6-5, your opponent doesn't kill it, and then it goes back to you to swing with it. Still seems fine. It is a mythic. I don't think it's necessary. There's other ramp spells that are maybe fine too, like Beanstalk Giant or something, right? Beanstalk Giant not only is a ramp spell, but you can just cheat it into play with this. So I, I you know this isn't necessary, but it's a new card. It does green things. You, you can't hate it. There are no new one-mana ramp spells, at least none that I saw. At least in the green aspect of the new set. However, there's this. It's just another mana dork. The only reason this is the one I'm choosing to play over the other ones is because it's a new card. I don't think it's better than, like, the one that exiles cards of your opponent's graveyard. Or the raccoon that has, like, the seven mana cheat stuff into play off the top. Mill seven or whatever. The adventure mana dork. But it's just a new card, so it's in here. I, but I think the raccoon is better than this. Uh, but, you know, that, that'll be different from maybe actually uploading the list when I'm done, as opposed to playing it. <laughs> just put the raccoon in that spot. Obviously, all the one-mana degenerate nonsense. Uh, crewing this, so it taps outside of combat. I don't know if I went over that. And that's about it. So we play this, and then we try to tap it, whether we swing or just tap it through something else. And then cheat in something extremely stupid that our opponent can't really deal with. And win that way. There's also, chat was talking about a tapped land that 
is a spring lift drum on a land, it, but it enters tapped, which is why it's not in here. I don't think I need it, but maybe I do. Maybe it's worth dropping just a single forest. However, the fact that it's tapped is pretty egregious in a deck that's trying to do this as quickly as possible. The last thing I'll say is I might need combat tricks to keep this alive, like Veil of Summer and uh, Snakeskin Veil, all that jazz. It might die repeatedly, who knows? Leaving up mana for that could be annoying anyways, so it might slow me down a turn that way, but we'll see. So like, comment, subscribe, let's, uh, let's do what green does best and skip like five land drops. Let's just do that real quick. I got these like really... Really, really weird uh, Bluetooth headband so I can wear it when I lie down. And I kind of pulled the uh, the thing out of it. That's why it's just sitting here floating. <laughs> it used to be inside the headband, but it's like jams against your forehead. So I pulled it out. Now it just sticks above me. All right. I don't have anything to cheat into play, nor do I have any mana to cheat early. So I'll go away. Mm hmm. Nope. Okay. Let's put back maybe you. Fine with that. Arena rebalanced. Why do the borders of the lands look weird? Am I tripping, or do they just look weird in hand? Why is there like a black border on the card? Is it not? Is that not the? I thought. Okay, did it? It not? It unfavorited my choice of card. I think maybe. Unfavorited my thing. Okay, so interestingly, because this is Helga, I might. Mm, no, I'm still gonna send it. We're gonna cast this first, though. Let's see what happens. My opponent has something here. But it is not wash away. It is not wash away. I mean, it still could be, but uh, it looks like it might be Swords to Plowshares. Oof. Opponent. Oh no. Tragic. Tragic it was. So I did that in the right order. I noticed through priority what that was. See? That's what happens when you pay attention. <laughs> that's what happens. Actors. It looks like I might actually get to simply swing with my commander as well. I don't need a way to tap it. I always love that. So, well, I probably just... I, I think I just won. I, I don't think there's anything my opponent can just do. I, I think I literally just won the game. You can't even counter this. I just won the game. We're gonna have a good time. I think we're gonna have a good time, chat. I think I think we're just you know, put your seatbelts on. I think uh Yeah, we just leave this for sure. I don't know why I was thinking about that, but let's play this next turn. I was like, oh I gotta protect my laner elves, but that uh, just doesn't doesn't really add up, no does it? Right, we got our crew, we got our things, the juices are flowing. We're gonna tap this elf because it's funny. Oh, this has flash. I guess I didn't have the cast right then in there. Mill three, pay one, pay three, put a card short. Oh no, haywire might on my nope, they didn't take it. Vault Barn Tyrant is not that exciting. And that is okay. Looks like we might have to play an honest game, which I'm fine with. It's not like, uh... Oh, wait a minute! The ability doesn't have... Su you can do it this the turn you play it. Right. I don't have to give my opponent another turn. It just happens immediately. Chat. I think this is going to go up to tier 1. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but... Just because I did this doesn't mean I win, but... Uh, yeah, I forgot that happened. Okay, so maybe I want, like, two more vehicles. I forgot you could do that the very turn it enters. I, it, I didn't register that in my head. My opponent actually got Delirium. That's pretty exciting. I'm actually kind of proud of him. So, I'm going to blow up this Ripples. 
Hmm. I don't actually know what to do here. I think I'm going to just attack like this and blow up my opponent's commander if they block with the bugs. Alright, my opponent wisely blocked in a way that makes... Oh wait, no! Now I don't have to blow this up. They both die... No, they don't. Only one of them dies. This feels too important. But the way they blocked means I don't have to commit to killing this, so... But they do keep a bug this way. A little annoying. Very well. Haha! -ha. Look at my free caretaker. Bask in his glory. Yeah, we broke mono green, yeah. That's what we did. We sure did that. <laughs> we sure did. You know it. Maybe I wanted this to die just so I hadn't analyzed the pollen. Okay, I see a line that I could have taken and I didn't. Okay, I can literally hard cast this pre-combat. Is that worth it? Does it matter? Who am I really? Who are you? Who are we? Okay. I can just play, like, boring magic. Let's do this. I don't have to tap it in combat for no reason. Sacrifice this, create a number of blacks flying under... Okay. Uh, does this tap for mana? It doesn't, so I want to kill the thing that taps for mana. It's just more powerful than anything else you could do. Oh, I drew another card. Oh, opponent. Oh, no. Oh, this is so miserable, because now I have to deal with the big stuff, and I'm just like... This is entering play now. That was probably one of the best draws I could have had. Well, any of the big things. There's a lot of big things. I shouldn't be too surprised. <laughs> oh. oh no. This is horrible. Yep, now you have to kill the tyrant. Well, maybe. I mean, you probably have to kill the tyrant, yeah. Oh, they paid life, too. Oh, no. I just get another Wait, I get another one, right? Yeah, alright. Okay. Oh, hey, look. There's a Titan industry, just real quick. They let the trigger go in the stack, so they can't, like, fatal push or something. Oh, they already fatal pushed. Um, you better have Crux of Fate, opponent. You better have Crux of Fate there. I'm gonna put this into play and put a shield counter on, uh my tyrant, because that's, like, super useful in the face of some random sweeper. Oh, hey, look, it's Nykthos. Totally matters. Do you have, like... No? Okay. So they got some buggy blockers. Does this do it on attack? It does. Alright, so the game's just over. The game's just over. I blow up their commander on attack, and then they're just kind of screwed. Because they don't have a bunch of death touchers to trade with. Oh, they were dead anyways. There's too much trample. Never mind. They're just dead anyways. It's just too much trample, yeah. I commend my opponent for playing it out. Oh, I forgot to change the. Oh, I'm maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just no. Maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. It seems like the 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 lands in hand look weird. Let's play this one. Mm. I might just flash in... I think I'm just going to flash in the 2-2. Two, two. Alright, Palaka Worm. Send it. Yeah. Yes. I can just hard cast this next turn, so I'm not gonna cheat into play. Any good staples for the Flubs deck? Hmm, good question. I don't know, actually. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, that's actually really tragic, because I have to take a turn off. That's pretty devastating, actually. Uh, I don't have to play this now, but maybe I should. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
I mean, Sundering Titan just wins the game if I get to resolve it. Look at my opponent's meta base. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I just, I just win the game if I resolve it. Almost. It, or at least it seems like I do. I don't know. Okay, that's a good sign. My opponent shocked themselves. Slightly less of a good sign. So... Yep. Alright, Sundering Titan. Actually do something for once in your life. So, Swamp, Forest, no, Forest, Plain, Swamp, Forest, Mountain. Alright. Look at that. That is the best I've ever seen Sundering Titan by a landslide. That's uh, completely nuts. I don't know if it's going to be good enough. I mean, Omnath can do stuff. They can't really kill it, because then it happens again, and I kind of blow up their land again. Okay. Sure. They have to block it. I can't just sit around, you know? <clears throat> Let's put you into play. Play this. And I suppose I'll play the Heart of Kiron as well. Why not? Alright, do we finally get a card that does things? They do! They get a card that gives them mana. Kind of, kind of sketchy. This is why... Sundering Titan does just outright win. But the problem here is I get to blow up a bunch of lands again if Sundering Titan dies. And it does die. Okay. This is in every land, unfortunately, so I do lose two lands here, I believe, with the Sundering Titan. But my opponent loses two lands, and their commander will probably never come into play again, so... I think it's a worthwhile trade-off. Alright, that's a little annoying, but fine, I suppose. Okay, that's also incredibly annoying. My opponent just had, like, a hyper-efficient turn for, uh, everything they were doing there. Can they cast this? They can cast Abzan Charm. Hmm. I think it's still right to... To do this. It would be crazy if they won this game, but I mean, that just shows that maybe Sundry Titan is not very good. I don't know. This is like the first real game where the first wave of creatures wasn't enough. Maybe uh, that's a reason to have other cards that draw. Balagant Recovery. That was actually uh, maybe a decent draw. I don't know. So if I get Sundering Titan again, it blows up one of their lands, and I can't even cast it anyways. Is there anything that costs five that's worth casting? I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna, like, do this. Send it. Two turn clock. That's kind of hard to deal with, so. This set seems good for the Necrobloom. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Necrobloom's looking good. Necrobloom's one of my favorite commanders, too, so. Certainly gonna go and play some, some other ones. Go back and check them out. Sure. So I need any creature, and my commander also actually does it. So, hmm. I don't know if it matters which one I play. I'm just going to cast this. Do you have an answer? You do not? Do I win? Alright, we won. Yeah. Come to find out, blowing up 15 of your opponent's lands is actually good enough. But, we, as you can see, they did a pretty good job at sort of offsetting it as the game proceeded. But that's the power of green, right? It's like, oh, you blew up all my lands. Let me just get new lands. You know. I have never seen anyone play Buxton other than myself. That is pretty cool. 
I don't know if I ever said hello. Probably did. Oh, wait, what? Oh, gotta play this. And I suppose this, because why not? For some reason I thought I was at 4 mil. I don't know. Got ahead of myself. That's cool. Okay, this feels like. Almost feels like my list. <laughs> Unfortunately for our opponent, uh, we just get to do the thing here, so... I'm gonna put the Overlord in play because it's funnier and I don't need Thorn Mammoth right now, so... Uh, putting this into play lets me actually cast things if something happens to my commander. So I'm just gonna do that. I don't need to kill their 2-2. I, I, I just don't need to do that. Okay, now I technically cannot kill anything, but that's still probably completely fine. Uh, is this land tapped? Yeah, it is. Tragic. Okay. Thorny boy. I will attempt... I'll make an attempt at the Elvish Mystic's life. Let's see if the Al Sayed is better. I'm going to tell you it probably isn't. Probably want that elf. Wow, they want the Al Sayed. Al, Al Sayed? Al Sayed? I don't know. I've jacked that name up a lot. You'll have to excuse me. I can do this whenever I want, right? Correct. I don't see a reason to draw a card because my board state's good enough. I might want to just keep this for a part to naturalize. Sure. My opponent's playing a really honest game over there, and uh, I am not. Unfortunate for them. Okay, Buxton. Sure, sure. This is a 4-4. Four, four. Alright, I was about to say, I don't... I don't think I need another creature... Okay, I can just mindlessly keep something like this. What is a Scarab God? Wow. That is a Scarab God. Wow. Cool. Alright, good game, yep. Look at that. The blue deck can't survive uncounterable stuff. Get Schmied it. And also ramping on turn one. And that is the power of green, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is the power of green. You don't even get to play the game. <laughs> Win on turn one with something that's probably better than a Ragavan because it doesn't have to make contact to the face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodly goodness. Yeah, did you enjoy that game? Yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy that game against your opponent? If so, smile and nod. Oh, look! Well, this isn't exciting, but Great Henge is funny. We can maybe try it. Jet Mirror's cool. I like Jet Mirror. I wonder if it's Green Mirror. How much you want to bet? Is it Mono Green Jet Mirror? Or is it not? Nerd next door. Oh, mer. Oh, mer. Having too much fun. Alright. Uh, okay. 
I did not put in the roaming throne. I don't, I'm not putting in the roaming throne. No. It takes up my four drop slot. It's not something I would ever cheat into play. Doesn't make sense. It's like play that over my commander just so my commander the next turn puts two things into play. That doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. If it costs three, maybe. Still kind of maybe, but... Alright. Alter Dementia is a phenomenal card for this deck, but this is a phenomenal answer to said thing, so... Unlicensed Hearse could be very good here. Very, very good here. Not just as a crew target, either. Man, I wonder what's going on right now. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder what's happening to all these decks. Why are they, uh... Alright, Davriel's a bit of a pain. Bit of a pain there. But, I mean, we have this, so maybe it's fine. They did Mulligan, so maybe looking for... Fossies? That'd be maybe a little weird, actually. Probably just Fatal Push. Okay. So we don't have the Great Henge anymore. I don't really feel like I need it, though. But it is gone. That is a phenomenal draw. Well, I think... I think a land would have also been fine. Alright, so I can play this and also my commander, right? Hold on. Now I have to think. So green... Green, green, green. Commander. Play this. Put this into play, because it's funny. Alright. Not very exciting, but here we are. Get yeah, the goose beat down. Send a message. Is this where they play Bantu's Last Reckoning and then, uh... Congratulations? <laughs> you, sh you did the thing? They have to deal with my stuff. They have to do something, because this is online. So... They have to do something here. That is... That, it, that works. That works. So what does this do when it attacks? Mill two, man. Okay. I will just do this now. Never know what I just randomly draw. All right, nothing exciting. Alright, Smuggler's Copter in for free. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Sending it for free. Huge. What's funny about these vehicles is other creatures I play, like, survive board wipes because of these. And that, that is kind of funny. Okay, draw poop. As per usual, let's crew... Whoop, that's not how that works. Let's crew this. And I suppose I'll crew my commander as well, because I can't swing anyways, right? Alright, I yeah, just send these two. I'm gonna mill, I don't care. Alright, looks like it was two lands in play. Two lands on the top, that's funny. I milled two lands and drew Gnawbone. Wow. Wow, opponent. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh, feels good. It can still die. I mean, it can still die. But my opponent's getting kind of low here, right? And I can't really swing with their commit. Uh, children. Talented, for sure. Talented. Alright, Knobbone's getting in there. Um, are they dead? I don't think they're dead. Don't think they're dead. Oh, wait. Are they? No. Send it, send it, send it. I will mill again. Oh no, we lost two really good cards that time. Tragic. Oh, wait, never mind. We just got this. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yep, have my tangle. Yep, go for it. Knock yourself out, my friend. Alright, well, Horn Clicks is kind of neat, but it's not, like, amazing. It's not amazing, but it is kind of funny, I guess. 
It is funny. I don't believe we can die from this point. And our opponent has to invest a lot of mana to do something about this. That is not it. That is not it. So they're dead in the air unless they have a removal spell. Looks like they don't. Oh, hey, look, another card. That one doesn't really matter, though. Oh, shoot, maybe giving them land could have given them a three-minute removal spell. That would have been funny. <laughs> they just play Murderous Rider. Uh... Okay, I need a land, but, I mean, all right. Can't have everything. Unless you do. Did they shock themselves? I think they just shocked themselves. What was that about? Unsummon? Flexing? Probably just flexing. Am I, like, centered? Eh, I'm centered enough. That is a wonder. All right, wonder is in the graveyard, which gives things flying, right? When is a graveyard as island? Is, yeah, all right, your creatures are flying. I don't really think that does anything for flubs in any way, shape, or form, but it's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna name beast here and send it. Now, I'm kind of banking on my opponent trying to block it in, with enough power than trying to uh, stop it. Alright, it looks like that might actually be what's going on here. So I can just play this and do what I want anyways. Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting. Cast it. Tap out. Please. Bonus. Oh, okay, sure. Works too. They cannot swing. Okay, my opponent swung. That makes me activating this much easier. I don't think that actually mattered. I probably wasn't using my mana for anything else anyways, but I'm going to just send it. Uh, Portal to Phyrexia might just win the game. Now that they have three creatures, I feel kind of bad. Opponent's playing an honest game over there, and I'm just uh, doing this. Although Flubs isn't that honest. Flubs isn't that honest. Flubs is a bit of a liar. Bit of a con man. Bit of a con artist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can hard cast this to get the trigger. Did they play a fetch land? They did. They played a whole bunch. Oh, right. Portal starts stealing creatures. It doesn't have to be your graveyard. Right, it continues to do things. It's kind of weird. All right, my opponent copies it. Interesting. I like it. I like it. So we're gonna reanimate my commander, right? I can simply recast my commander. So I guess I won't exhaust my portal trigger for that. I don't know what to reanimate. I guess the courser. We have an answer to this though, so I'm not super sweating it. I think I'm gonna take the courser here. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. I can take Dryad, and if I top deck a land, can immediately blow up their thing. Oh, paid off. Oh, wait, I thought I had the mana. What? Ugh. Actual ugh. So I can put it into play naturally, and I guess I just will. Uh, that's just like... Uh, put it on the play taft, yep. Alright. I'd rather just actually cast this, but it being in play is still fine. If it dies, I can 
I don't know. There's nothing in my graveyard that matters. My opponent will probably take Courser so they can see the top card if it's a land, all that jazz. That's exactly what they do. Yep. Card is, in fact, not a land. They draw something that doesn't matter. Um, that's all I've got for you. But they have to deal with Cityscape Leveler in a way that doesn't let me recast it out of Graveyard. Beseju. Alright, so we both lose our portals. Okay. I commend my opponent for doing things that let them stay in the game. They're doing a pretty good job at that. Sure. Probably want to fetch away those six. If I had to take a shot in the dark. You have to leave today. It's a nice game. Good luck. Yeah, nice seeing you. Thanks for sticking around. It'll be on YouTube. So, crewing this as a 3 3 is probably fine. I would like my opponent to get overly cautious about my commander in trade when they don't have to. So, I will swing with it. I will take any trade I can get with it, so it makes sense to me. Opponent is like light on cards, and Flubs likes to be that way. Wow, I got another land off the top, too. That's nuts. Alright, so it looks like they might actually be irrational towards my commander, which I like to see. Yeah, this is exactly what I want to see. So I'm going to get rid of Courser. No, yeah. I don't really care about their graveyard reanimation nonsense. Alright. Yeah, I don't I don't really agree with this. Honestly, again, my commander is a little irrelevant. I might not even recast it actually. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'll just recast it. It's fine. But I'll show them that it didn't matter. Do we shuffle away the 6? We do not shuffle away the six. Haro doesn't matter. My opponent is at six as well. <laughs> Card name six in hand, life total six. Life total five. And I think they're now dead. I, unless they draw something absolutely insane. Like, they have a, a, the craziest turn with the remaining mana. But I don't think they can. I'm sure we will learn. We will learn swiftly. They currently do not have the mana to cast that, but it would be uh, very, very, very good if they could. But they cannot play it. They can't play another land. Close, though. Close. I mean, they did draw, like, a really good card, right? Time Warp would have been maybe GG. It could have been Lights Out. It could have been Lights Out. So now, how do I get Lethal? Lethal. Can I get lethal? Does that change anything? Not really. Can I play this crew? Okay, so I want to hard cast this just for another attacker. Oh wait, did I seek yet? I didn't seek. Okay. I didn't seek yet. I probably would lead with that, but alright, I'm going to sit here and do some math. I'm going to sit here and do some math. Okay, they're always dead. They're always dead. I did not even have to crew anything. They're dead. Don't you thought seize me. Oh. oh, wait, no, I have two. I have two. It doesn't matter. Get wrecked. Never mind. That's adorable. Someone thought seize an arboreal grazer. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that completely nuts? 
thoughts he's a boreal grazer like what this is how good that card is ridiculous ridiculous Spawn of Mayhem, whoa. Alright, well, unfortunately for my opponent, none, nothing, nothing matters. And I will gladly draw more cards. Oh, hey, look, it's Coglo. I mean, they can kill my com commander now, it don't, it don't really matter. Yeah, now they have to play catch up. Yep. Thought sees a boreal grazer. It's just <laughs> Oh, wizards, why why did you why did you do this to us? Why does my opponent have to thought seize my two cent common? And not my uh Thorn Mammoth? Or uh excuse me, the other card they saw, the five drop. My opponent literally thought seized. <laughs> they didn't even thought seize the new scary mythic in hand because the Boreal Grazer is better than it. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Got ourselves a mirror again. I'm actually on the play. No one drop, though. I'm not going to race to a one drop. Bramble Familiar is basically the same outcome. Turn three, Commander. <laughs> Although, I guess I, I don't have a vehicle the same turn I play it. And my opponent... Well, my opponent can't play it next turn, so neither do they. They actually didn't cast a ramp spell on one or two either, like at all, like neither one or, or two. What do you do now? How do you get out of this? Reliquary Tower? What? So this is an excellent example. I got to remember where this video, this this, <laughs> this game was, so I could put it on YouTube. This is an excellent example of. Uh, well, I was on the play. I was on the play, but I had the ramp spell, and my opponent did not. Right, my opponent didn't have a ramp spell on one or two, and this is how in. Well, I mean, I had this specifically, but I should just refer to the text box, not like the results of it. But this this was. Crucial, right? I get to do it faster than my opponent. I get to do things faster than my opponent has time to set up or re react to it. And this is what happens, right? No one drop, no two drop that mattered. And I get to do it. I could have respected a combat trick that made this too big. Mm, but I, I guess I just didn't. I don't know. But yeah. I... What, are you going to counter this? What? Okay. I suppose I'm not upset with that at all. That is odd. Yeah, uh, that was a... Uh, I don't know what my opponent was thinking. Yeah, maybe that's a fortunate thing. Maybe that's a good thing. I mean, it's a rough lifts, right? It, is, it just came out. Combat tricks, I still don't like waiting a turn or having extra mana and what am I taking out. I still don't want to run them. So Healy is usually a combo deck. I think. Um, yep. So I'm going to do this for a zero. Which looks questionable, but you know what? And then we flash in this. 
instead of casting this. I don't think I'm going to respect the counterspell and send it now. Probably just not worth it. That is a little odd to me. Um, just no second counter spell. All right, it is what it is. Can't always have it, I guess. Just kind of surprised to see that. I don't have anything super omega busted to put into play though, which is uh, kind of sad. But giant tokens are still just good, right? Nissa's minus attacks everything my opponent does for well, basically the whole game until they deal with it. It also th almost threatens lethal. Let's see. 18. We got 18 because of the forests on three attackers. And I'll trample. They are dead unless they do something. Assuming I can crew this without tapping. With, I can. Okay. It's 18 plus another 8. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It's 30. They are dead. They are dead. Unless this last card is, like, really good. Or, rather, the card that they can cast is good. Alright, it did save them. It did save them. Maybe I wanted to bait out that counterspell? I mean, I didn't. So, now what? Now what, now what, now what? All right, they conceded anyways. Um, okay, yeah, I'm not swinging 14 here because I want to triple block and keep Nissa around. Okay, so when you win with this commander, it feels like your opponent never stood a chance. However, you are a bit vulnerable. Those are like a lot of games. I did get to 15 wins uh, fairly quickly. However, the games I lost, it felt like I was... I'm losing basically to a single card, like one crucial removal spell or one well-placed counter spell, and then you're just kind of completely toppled over, right? Your house of cards just collapses. That could mean some protection spells are in order. However, I'm not sure. Like, they don't stop counter spells, and they don't stop edicts. I got hit by an edict a couple times, which answered what I was doing. I did end up taking out a bunch of threes, because this should always be my turn three. Almost. It just feels like almost always this should absolutely be in play on turn three. And if it's not, well, why are you playing it? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Kind of like Pock, really. So I added a bunch of two-mana ramp spells along with the one-mana ramp spells. However, the one-mana ramp spells are still so much better than the two-mana ones. Because you can play one on turn one, right? And then you play a crew a vehicle or something that lets you tap this on turn two and then on turn three you cast this right that would be the ideal outcome which means having a one drop every game is um more crucial than ever for a four minute commander usually three minute commanders like the one drops but this one really wants to go one uh you know one into tapper into this so you can tap it on turn three However, I didn't always have to do that. Not everyone comes prepared with an answer. A lot of people will also try to just simply block it, right? Put enough power into play that I can't swing and get to my second main phase with it alive. I'll make the argument that most of the time that probably doesn't work out for them because you might have some kind of way to tap this anyways, and then their way to block it isn't efficient, right? If the, the most ideal outcome is your opponent trying to simply block it. If they have nothing at all, then, I mean, you're probably going to win anyways, but 
uh, I would say that. For the top end nonsense, I was kind of all right with everything I had in here. Maybe Palaka Worm was a little too cute, honestly. Uh, I just wasn't a mood to play it, not gonna lie. Same with uh, this one. There was a couple games where it did something, and a couple games where it didn't. So it's like a 6-6 a six, six Trample Ward seems kind of ugly. It does literally tap your commander, so you can, like, convoke into it, right? You tap your commander, you cast this, and then your commander's tapped for something else in your hand. It feels a little overkill, but, you know, I mean, sometimes that's just how it pans out. That's it. I mean, it's very one-dimensional, very linear. If it doesn't work, you do have the plan B of ramping into big things. That is a possibility. I did win a couple of games like that. Just my Oh, my commander didn't work. Let me just cast six drops naturally and win that with six and sevens and eights and whatever. It's totally possible. Totally viable. I don't know if it's better than Mythweaver Pock. I'm going to go ahead right now and say it probably is not. I don't think it is. I think it's one of those kinds of commanders where if it's answered enough, your opponent sort of loses, right? If you just keep killing it, as opposed to Pock that can continuously die and leaves behind extremely just, you know, powerful lands that you can then cast huge things with, right? And if it ever does live for a turn, you don't need to swing with it. You just, oh, you know, draw 45, I win. So I don't think it's better than Mythweaver Pock. They're both pretty comparable i think right four men and mono green i think pock is just better but so far of just looking at the potential commanders of the new set i think this is probably top three of the new one i can't expect every set to have like crazy busted things it's just, you know but every now and again you know you get like five or six solid commanders out of a set i think there might be two to three that are very good this is just one of them but it's just mono green again and there are better ways to play mono green this does play unique cards, though. It plays a lot of things you don't normally see in Mono Green, which is cool. I like that. I'm sure there's some fine-tuning to, to be done to the list, and I'll probably fine-tune it a little bit before I end up uploading it to the website and stuff that I upload my stuff to. So, Well, that's that for that. Let me know what you thought about this list. If you have ideas to make it better somehow, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with more of the new set.